Yo, 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 guys, welcome back again today. If you're ever visiting the Pacific Ocean, you might want to stop by the beautiful country of Vanuatu. Let's dive into 10 interesting facts you might not know about this island country. One, tourism helps the country in many ways. Such exports of cattle, financial services, and agriculture help this country out. There is also another major economic booster. This would be tourism. Tourism makes up a little under 20% of the country's total GDP. The visitor count is at about 95,000 people per year. I'm really thinking about going. What about you? Two, the people of the island are brave and warriors. It seems that Europe was on a colonizing rampage in the world. Captain Cook would discover the archipelago for Europeans in 1774. Captain Cook spoke of his arrival off the coast while on his ship. Captain Cook and his men were met with a thousand tribesmen on the shore of one island. The captain would order his crew to shoot cannons right into the center of the men on the coast. One tribesman would turn around and show his backside. Captain Cook, even though no words were said, understood these people would not let their home go without a fight. Though the French and English Europeans would eventually take over the island, the people became independent in 1980. Three, most people will never visit this country. Unfortunately, most people will never visit this country. With only 95,000 visitors a year, it seems as if people just don't want to come to this country. I would actually say there might be some barriers to entry. One, most people, unfortunately in the world, do not know this country even exists, which I hope with this video can change a couple of minds. Two, with the fastest way to the island from most countries around the world can take between 20 to 34 hours, well, this two-stop destination could turn some people off. You can do this trip, or better yet, you will do this trip. I say, you sit in traffic longer in your life and you hate it. Four, do you like bungee jumping? They invented it. These people are definitely fearless and warriors. During the yam crop season, from April to May, men and boys dive off of wooden tower structures. They tie vines to their ankles to perform this tradition known as nengo. They feel that their tradition has been stolen by the world and the country even has sought out royalties from companies around the world. Next time you bungee jump, think about these guys. Five, like volcanoes? <laughs> this is your place. Let's be honest, when will you ever see a real live active volcano? Well, Mount Yasser is the most active volcano that can be accessed. Starting off with driving through ashy fields, then arriving and peeking over into a volcano, can you imagine that? The rumble, the smells, the heat, the night sky? Something so powerful and violent, yet so natural in the innards of our planet. You excited yet? Six, ever seen a sea cow? Dugongs, or known as sea cows, are in abundant in this country. Around the world, this animal is endangered but not here. I really want to swim with them. Should I be scared? Seven, this country is the most diverse linguistically in the world. Look guys, I'm having a hard time trying to learn more than five languages. I will admit, diversity is great to me. What about you? A very unique version of pidgin English is also spoke here. Look, if you don't speak one of the languages of this country, well, how are you watching this video right now? Eight, half the population speaks English. Okay, I know. I just said that there's a lot of languages spoke on the island, but it might be an easy guess that if you understand me, most people on the island will understand you. English, for good or bad, we speak in it. Nine, it's top five happiest places on the earth. The country comes in fourth after Colombia, Costa Rica, and Mexico as a happy place to live a long life. The Happy Planet Index, which comes out every summer, would be the finger to point to for these stats. Look, money's not everything. It's about how you live your life. 
not how others perceive you to live your life. 10. You like junk food? Have a lot before you come. The government in this country has been trying to ban foods from the West to help with health and sustaining the country's homegrown organic farmers. Even when tourists come, they are served organic local food. Look guys, have you ever had fresh food every day? Like real food? Junk food doesn't compare on any level. Just keeping it real with you. So yo guys, please like and subscribe. Turn the bell notification on down there so you get all my videos. And also make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Also add me on all social medias, which is Africa Network, which is Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat, Facebook, and TikTok. Each one teach one. Always love each other. Always learn from each other. And yo guys, until next time, why are you still listening to me? You need to be booking a flight to this beautiful island. Peace. One love.